Hey everybody, apologies for the sudden silence. When I click away from the game, it does that, but yeah, we're playing Wario Land 2. I'm gonna play the whole game. Well, okay, I'm gonna play the main story. Uh, Cause this is a game with branching pads. That's what really blew my mind when I played this as a kid and why it was one of my favorite games for a long time. So I, I'm very stoked to play some of this. It's been, it's been a long time. Um. My question, my question is, should I, you know what, I'll do, I will do the main story, and if it doesn't take me too long, I will also play uh, one of the side stories um, that I know is like only one word, world long, so it's not very long, but uh, let's get into this. Wario Land 2, baby! This game also has pretty long cutscenes for a Game Boy game. It was a Game Boy Color. I'm very stoked. I love this game so, so much. This is where, like, a lot of Wario stuff really came about was the Wario Land games. Like, granted, a lot of it comes through in, like, the later Wario Land games, but in uh, Wario Land 2 is where a lot of Wario's current personality really started. Oh, Lord, they're coming. Oh, no. No. He's money. These big bags of coins. Please, put it back. I do like how the music fades out and then back in like that. Oh no. No, not the faucet. No, our water bill. And he won't be able to pay for it because he doesn't have the coins anymore. He fiends. Evil. Evil. that guy. Yeah, yeah. That's the alarm clock, baby. Alright. Here's Wario, sleeping with no blankets, fully clothed, just like the nasty man he is. Chapter 1, Story 1. Turn off the alarm clock. One noisy morning. Let's do it. And of course, the first thing you do is wake him up. Right? Um... And you actually do have to hit a button to wake him up. And you may be wondering, what happens if you don't wake him up? Well, we'll, we'll see that later. Oh. Alright, so yeah. It's a Game Boy Color game, so you really only had four directions, two buttons, and uh, that meant you basically jump, do this little tackle move, and you can ground pound if you hit down, you can crouch, do a little scoot, and uh, you do this, gives you a little bit of extra height, and there's some other stuff you'll end up doing later, which is really cool, but yeah, we'll get into that when we get there. One of the goals of this game is to get as much money as you can, kind of like Luigi's Mansion. Your end score is based on how much money you end up having. Got him. And, like, I know this looks like it's just, like, a pretty standard platformer, right? But trust me, there are, there are some really interesting things that happen in the design of this particular game that I'm very excited to show y'all. Ah, see? Secrets. We got secrets too. 
another separate level. I also appreciate that Wario just has big old pockets of money in his walls. Like, he's so paranoid he has all this. Granted, he has good reason to be paranoid, considering, considering what went down. All right, if you bump on somebody, they flip over, and then you can pick them up, and then you throw them through the bricks, and that's how you get rid of these blocks. Come on. There we go. Sometimes that's how you get into the secret areas. There we go. And ba-bam! More underneath. A secret door. And look, there was a secret over there that we didn't even see, but now we know that it's there. And we can see that secret. Oh, full of surprises. Very, very clever little bits of design. Mouse. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with the mouse. We're gonna go into that secret door. Always good to bump against the walls just to see. Whoop! Watch out. Yeah, come on. There it is. Sometimes you need just a little extra height. We got the big ol' ten coins. And I don't know how useful it is in this particular one, but check it out. Wario gets crushed! Now, we're flat Wario. He can still jump and he falls kind of like paper. And then if we want to stop being that, this guy helps out, stretches you right back out. Now, I don't remember how useful that is now, but that will reoccur. That's the big thing with the Wario games is it's not just a platformer. You actually have a ton of alternate forms that Wario can take and you use those to solve different puzzles or get to, like, different areas and different secrets. It's really, really cool. Uh, the only... Yeah. Uh, the, there was also one on DS. I always wanted to get Wario Master of Disguise, but I was always like, that doesn't look like it's a very long game. And that was a point where, like, if a game wasn't going to be at least 20 hours, I was like, I don't think I want to spend 60 bucks on this. But, you know... Nowadays, I think I'll probably, I'll track it down. But there, there, there were like five Wario Land games, I want to say. There was original Wario Land. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go hard. It's been a while, but I think I can manage this. Alright, looking for the duck. Oh, using the, this one right here. Yeah! Bam. And, like, you can do easy and it just shows them all to you really slow, but it's like, save a little coin, you know? I don't need to spend 200 coins on that. I'm good. I'm real good. Shabam. See? Using coins. Direct you. Classic. Classic Nintendo design. Very clever stuff. Really, really love this game. Alright. Probably move a little quicker. I'm I'm gonna gush about it all over the place, but like Um I, I gotta keep the pace up if I wanna get this done in a decent amount of time, you know? Do 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 I'm pretty sure the one on the right, because as the Wario face, is the boss. Let's do this alternate area real quick. I don't, I don't expect to get a super great score. It's been a long time since I've done a run of this, but I should be able to do okay. Oh, 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 he's punching. Punch you guys. R bit intimidating. Ah! See? You go to ground pound. 
on just the pots, and you end up getting to a whole other area. It's great. Bump them from underneath. Watch out, though. They will punch, and they'll knock some coins out you. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. I like the idea for this level of adding the alarm as part of the song, but, uh... Well, that's a bit grating. Uh, apologies for that. We'll get through it in just a bit. This isn't a super long level. Yeah, there he is. Get him! Same way you want to do to all your alarm clocks. Really. Gone. Exploded. Literally exploded. I win. And I got the treasure. Yeah, there's one of those treasure mini games on every single level, I'm pretty sure. I've never 100 percent this game. I want to eventually sometime on this stream, but like I just haven't I haven't played it since I was a kid. And um I wanted to be sure. Like I I couldn't just figure out some of the other stuff. Okay. So, you can pay an extra 50 coins to get another clue to guess the number. Right now, it can be 1, 4, or 7. So, let's get the middle. Come on, let's see if we can get it. Okay. It can still be either of them. Oh, okay, it can be 1 or it can be 7. That's not helpful. Come on, give me a top one. Give me one of the top lefts. Come on. Okay, it's one. Cool. And there we go. Yeah, and then you get one of these, so that's, once again, one for every level. And you just build up an awesome tableau. Turn off the faucet. Oh, jeez. And now we get into some of the water stuff. The water stuff in this game is also really cool. Because you can, you can swim, but it's rarely... Yeah, you rarely have control over it. Yeah, I don't even remember if I got this... Oh, wait a minute. I see what's happening there. I don't remember if I got this because, like, I saw it at a shop and I was like, I want this, or if, like, one of my family members just bought it for me. Similar to Banjo-Kazooie, my grandma <coughs> got me an N64 when I was a kid, and she just got me Banjo-Kazooie. That, that was just the one that she saw and was like, yeah, that's probably the right one. And it's, it's turned out to be one of my favorite games ever, so, like, you know. I know there's the stereotype of, like, oh, grandma doesn't know the game, and it's like... Yeah, she might not have really understood on any kind of design level why Banjo-Kazooie was going to be amazing, but, like, she saw, like, yeah, those look like fun characters. It's a bear and a bird and a witch. That looks like a fun time. And you know what? She was right. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here's a different kind of Wario. This is Fire Wario. So you light on fire, turn into a fox, and then you couldn't see it for very long there, but you turn into kind of a... Basically just on fire in, in fact, I don't think I'll be able to do it here, but you just turn into like fully immolated and you kind of scoot along very slowly and then um, After a little bit of that you just turn into a pile bash and then you turn back to normal. It doesn't actually like hurt you overall, but You use that to solve some of the puzzles oh, Watch out for them fish Trying to knock you into the juice. In fact, there's not like a ton of damage you end up taking in this game. You know, most of the time, most of the things enemies do to you, like, it puts you into a position where you could use it to solve a puzzle, or you could... Um, it could be a deterrent, maybe, but there's rarely times where it's just like, yeah, you're dead. Which I, I really, really love about this game. I mean, I just love this game in so many different ways, but like, that's... That's a huge part of it to me, is, like, they took what was, like, the Mario idea of, like, platforming, and you're always, like, doing different platforming challenges, and they turn it on its head, they made it more of a puzzle thing. And it's, like, it still feels very, like, Nintendo, but it's, like, it's got its own tone, it's got its own vibe, and it's just a totally different feel. Alright, let's go hard. Who are we looking for? Little chef man, all right. He's got that apron. I 
think he was bottom right. Yeah! I, ba I barely caught him in the corner of my eye. This is actually easier on actual Game Boy because the screen is so small you can see the whole thing at once. But now I'm playing it on like a computer monitor so it's like huge. Whoops, I keep going to the analog stick. I'm trying when I do these retro games to use the D-pad more because that was my big problem when it came to Super Metroid. Is I, I had so many troubles because the analog stick wasn't precise enough, basically. Oh. Ooh, hey, there's a secret. Ah, I missed a coin. I know what you're saying. Oh, you're gonna go all the way back up there for one coin? Uh, Wario would. So, you know, I'm role-playing right now. You gotta think about how your character would feel about it. Eh. I might get really focused in some parts of this game. I just... Oh, I love this game so much, man. Like, it, it honestly was my favorite game for such a long time before, you know, Shovel Knight. Oh, and here's another thing. Look at this little gooey guy. Try and go past? Nah, can't go past. What if you try and oh, tackle him? Nope, doesn't work. Can't do it. What you gotta do? Grab this guy. And bonk! And then you get a coin for each. That's great. Yeah, and there's like a lot of things here that you can see in Shovel Knight, like with all these secrets in the walls, and like the way that um, all the different enemies can have different vibes. Oh, I throw something there, but I don't know. I broke a, I broke something there, but I don't. Huh. Anything? Anything? No. Whatever. It might have been something important, but we're marathoning, baby. We gotta keep going. Uh, actually, what am I doing? I can turn down the game itself. Hold on. Sorry. I had to, uh... Uh, I, whenever I switch to a different window, it unfortunately mutes the game. Okay, let's play. <laughs> and give me some good. Uh, okay, so that could be four, four, five, six, eight, or nine, or zero. So let's do another one. That be everything except four now. Least useful. I guess that means it could be uh, five, six, eight, or nine. That is six or five. Uh, six or five still. That's six, baby. Alright. You can always guess if you want to just guess, but like... I like figuring it out. Nice. Two in a row. Feeling good. And you do get to stay on that screen as long as you want. Like, you can hit A at any time to move on. But, uh... If you want to just, like, hang out and look at it for a minute, you can do that. Alright. Letting the water out. That faucet filled this whole place up. We gotta, we gotta drain. We gotta drain the situation. Gotta watch out for these guys. They'll poke you. These guys will actually damage you. But look at that. They just, they, they stun you, and they knock out some of your coins, which ain't great. But they don't like kill you. There's not like lives in this game, really. Instead, coins are where it's at, which is honestly so ahead of its time, right? Because, like, nowadays, that is what they do for most, like, Mario's and, like, other platformers, is you just lose some kind of resource and then, um, you know, maybe some time, but you don't have lives anymore. Really, really ahead of its time, man. And you can... This is another thing you can goosh like this. 
and that, oh, actually, oh, that does let you break stuff. Okay, you can only break up, though. So if I, if I do that here, it doesn't do anything. If I do it from underneath, it breaks all the pots. So I gotta make a clear area here, and then ride in the bubble, because I can't get through that, like, rapids part as average Wario. Plus, coins. Always coins. Yeah, see, can't, can't do it. But if you bump into anything, the bubble will pop, so you gotta make sure that you make a nice path for yourself. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah, as long as, if you bump into the sides, it's fine. It's if you bump straight up into something, the bubble pops, like that. Great animation, gosh, I really didn't appreciate as a kid just how good these animations are, too. Whoa, uh oh, he's called Boomerang. Oh, Crocky. gonna snap me neck like a wallaby. Oh, what? The rings are really brutal. I know, I don't know if you guys have like looked into it or anything, but like, boomerangs will just crush your spine if they work correctly. They're really like, they're really like not, not cool. They're actually super inhumane, honestly. Or are they? I guess. If you do them correctly, they are meant to just, like, take the animal out, which I guess is kind of humane, I don't know. Alright, so now, check it out. Now we're trying to avoid the bubbles, because we're trying to go down. And if you hit the bubbles, uh, they won't break on these thin blocks, which they're showing you now by having them go through. Right? So, to keep yourself progressing, you go, but... Of course, you still want to break the pots because some of them have coins. And you've got to be a greedy boy. So you're still having to go back and forth all the time. Re it's just... Mm, all these, like, different incentives. Like, coming at you all the time. do need all the coins I can get for those those bonus mini games. They get real pricey. All right, moving on. Deep, and there we are. Right back where we started. Ready to move on. The level design too. Ugh. Good stuff. Oh, oh yeah. There's a switch. You gotta you gotta pop it. And I, I think it works just like the on-off switch, basically, so something in here has changed now that I've hit that. What it is, I don't know. We'll find out. Don't do that! Stop! Stop! I like how gleeful they look about it, like their eyes just get all big and happy. They're just like, yeah, I'm gonna spear him! Like, I guess they got drill noses? really hard to convey in, uh, is this 8-bit or 16-bit? I think this is 16. No, this is 8-bit, isn't it? This is bonkers. Right, I think the level in here is what that changed. Changed it there too, so I gotta gotta get that again, so I can get over. See, it's it's like nothing mind blowingly great. It, it it's mainly it's just surprising that this was so ahead of its time. Like these are all standard things now, and it's like you know it wasn't doing anything that didn't really exist in one way or another at the time, but like. As a kid, like, this was my introduction to a lot of these mechanics, and to just see them all implemented so tightly in such a polished way, I just, and I could play it in the car, as long as I had enough AA batteries, and, like, sunlight, because, good lord, those old, those old Game Boy screens. Ooh, 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 uh-oh, no thanks, no thanks. 
Okay, what's in this door? Let's go, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go in. I want the, I want the coin! That was a lot for just a single coin, but you know what? It's working. Oh, yeah, perfect. Alright, let's do it. Hard mode, baby. Alright. That guy. Grumpy Gus. Think this was it. Nope. That's, ah, I was right next to that! Alright, alright, let's try it again. Here we go. Oh, little Firefox. Where's he at? Where's he at? I think he's one of these? I'm gonna go top left again. Ooh. Okay, I lucked out, because I definitely... Basically, I pick one of the two middle rows. I pick one of the two middle rows and, like, use my peripheral vision and just kind of hope that it's one of those. So it's like a th it's like a three and four chance, basically, that one of those will be the one. But, like, yeah, I just got unlucky that time, and uh, it was neither. Can I use this? Oh, oh. Wanna go over here? Hop. And then we can walk through this. Oh lord, oh lord, I got a lot of coin! Whoops. Didn't mean to go through the door. Alright. Thankfully the uh, bottles do not respawn. So we're we're still good to go. And hard left, hard left, hard left! Alright, let's do it. Oh, see. And this even, this is super ahead of its time. It's saying, like, push down. To do a roll. And it's like, the fact that they actually put that into this, like, that's so ahead of its time. That's all over the place now. Granted, I think it's not, you know, the best. But, like, in terms of, like, a Game Boy game? Like, an original Game Boy Color game. That is so, so wild to see, like, something actually saying, just, like, push down. So, so cool. It's bonkers. It's so ahead of its time, it almost feels like a D-make, you know? Like, it w it's a more modern game that they, like, turned into a Game Boy game. Alright, let's play it. What do I get? Okay, that could be two, three... Basically everything except one and four. That could be three or... F three, five, or nine. That could be three, five, uh, yeah, that's three, five, or nine still. That is three or nine. That's not very helpful. That's three. That's three. Nice. Got it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the coins are part of your score, but also, like... It, it's the fuel for this part, which is so cool to me. Like, that means that you can just get... You're giving yourself more opportunities for the the end so that you can get that actual... So good. Down to the cellar. Whoop! See, and in case you missed that part earlier, they basically put you in a situation where you have to get mashed up. And then also... For some reason, water, I'm not, I don't really get the logic behind that. Maybe it's like, maybe it's something that is lost in translation in the localization of English or something. I'm not really certain why water would be the thing that unflies you. 
There was still one coin there, but I'm not going to go all the way back up for a single coin. No thanks. Uh, does Warrior do anything if he gets wet? No. No, no. I, I figured he might do a little bit. Maybe shake the water off or something. Yeah, and if those, the, the pulling guys get you, um, when you're not small, they do actually, like, hurt you. Give me. Alright, and then we, oh, no, not up there, I guess. You kinda gotta jump, he's very slow in this mode. There it is. Okay, if you hold up, you jump a little, a little higher. Okay. Oh, oh. Nope, angle was wrong. Nope. Nope, wrong angle again. Try one more time here. Come on, I know I can get this. Okay, give me two more tries. I swear. Ah, uh, this is so much harder than I remember. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, it's fine. Ah, oh, there's a lot of coins though. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Unless. No, 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 no. We're marathon mode. I can't be goofing around wasting time. Yeah. Yep, see? Steals a couple coins from ya. There's a chance you're gonna lose coins if you go over there, so I'm not gonna risk it. I didn't leave myself a... Ah, I didn't leave myself enough. Please. Please, sir, Wario. Ah, yeah! Yeah, I made it! Okay, cool. A ton of coins up here. Oh, that's weird. Usually if you have, like, a number or something, it's, uh... It's on the top layer, but, uh... These numbers are going behind the, uh... The other sprites. Weird. Not, like, necessarily a problem. It's strange, you don't really see that. No! Let me out, let me out! Okay. Oh yeah, you got... It. See, look, you can, you can still scoot around while you're crouched, and then you can do a little jump. Right? But, it is a little faster as this guy. Oh, but I have to be able to uh, do the little shoulder rush, the little tackle. Oh, hey, wait a minute. There's like three things there. Time it. what that was. Yep, this is what that was. Okay, and then to get past this part... No, let me out! To get past this part, I will need to be um, flat. Because this Wario is wider. Right? So he's not gonna fall down that single gap hole. That is the end of the chapter, I'm pretty sure. If there's not like a boss or anything specific, that's just what they do. It's a secret over there. Oh no, do I want to go back? Do I want to get flattened and go back again? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. It might be the treasure, did I already do the treasure room in this level? I don't remember. All 
All right, let's. I think it's this one. Nope. Ah, slipping through those single gaps is tricky. Yeah, there we go. Yoink. Yeah, it's the treasure room. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna look at the left side. Let's see how well I can do here. Okay, spear guy. What do we got? I saw the bandana. Ah, that was my second choice, too. Great. That's fine, that's fine. Maybe I should just be doing normal. I'm usually spending at least 100. It takes me at least two tries. All right, Firefox, what we got? Oh, I saw him. There he is. Here we go. I'm gonna turn the uh, game down a little bit. A bit loud, I think. All right, let's keep going. That's a good level for it. Okay, cool. Whoops. All right, gotta click the. There we go. Let's play. Okay, that could be one, four, or seven. That could be one or seven. Still one or seven. Yeah. And I need one of those top. Top left ones. That's seven. So I'm on average spending about 300 coins on that each time. Might be a bit much. Defeat the giant sneak. So fifth level, this is the boss. That's uh, gonna be... Oh, should I? Yes, I should. That's gonna be the consistent thing throughout this game, is that each each chapter is five, or rather, each story is five chapters? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it usually ends with a boss. The boss is not always about fighting, though. You'll, uh, you'll see. There's some, some weird ones in here. Oh, it's a zombie. Even zombies, like, that was ahead of its time. Zombies are in, like, everything now, but, like, back then? Oh, boy, let's play. I'm just gonna go normal. Save myself a little, little time, honestly. All right, it's big eye boy. No! Ah! Uh... <sighs> well, guess I'm not getting the treasure on this stage. That's fine. We're only doing a casual run anyways. Ah, oh, man! <sighs> fine, that's fine. All right, let's get, let's get going. Get all the coins I can. Youch! Why? Why are you so mean, my little punching friend? I do not want to hurt you, but you make me hurt you. Let's double up on that. And then I'm not gonna waste everybody's time going down that another time. 
I'm just gonna get some of these. Go through here. There's the secret. Ooh, and there's the boss door. what I have to hit, eh? Ah, oh, frick, I can't reach it. I shouldn't have broken all those boxes. Ah! Oh, man. We'll punch you, man. And then I will show you guys, I don't know wh how useful it is here, but there's a zombie up there, and well, what would you expect a zombie to do? Bite you, right? Make you a zombie. But yeah, exactly. There it is, yeah, he did a little bite. So now I am a slow shambling zombie Wario. Until I get hit by the sunlight, sunlight turns you back. If I had landed on the ground, I'd just kind of crumble into a pile. And then stand right back up after a minute. It's still zombie. through here. Ah, my hubris. I was so impatient. Oh, well. Let's go. Boss time. And it's a big old snake. Wake, wake him up. Why is he living in your house, Wario? He do look terrifying. Ah, and then he just... He gets you. Swallows you up. You a purple egg. Throws you right back out of the ring. That's the big thing, is the bosses in this, they don't really, because there aren't any lives, they don't do damage to you. They just throw you out of the ring and make you start over. Which is some total nonsense. But that's exactly what I'd expect a boss to do. Right, yeah, watch out. You basically just have to wait for him to fight. Not, no! Ah, I was in the hitbox. You gotta wait for him to do his little bite, and then jump on his head. Doesn't take too much to get him, I don't think. He is the first boss, but, you know. What's up? What's up, my snake friend? Frick! Hold on, I'll just, yeah. Fast forward through that real quick. Thankfully, emulation allows you to fast forward, unlike the games of yesteryear. Ah, ah, ooh. Don't wanna get, don't wanna get hit. Don't wanna get bit. Oh, speeding up. Red. Which means we're pretty close, but he's gonna be pretty quick. Also makes him look so intimidating. He looks really scary. Got him. Easy. I'm a first boss. Yeah. No problem. All right. Gotta stay hydrated. Let's play. I gotta do this in under five. Okay, that's that's a good start. It's two, three, or uh, seven. Uh, doesn't give me anything new. Okay, two or three, and it's two. Nice. I was able to get it in four. All right, and half of the first row is done. That's the end of story one. 
No! My money! That's Wario sound. Rawr, I missed. Though I've heard that's apparently the German Wario? For some reason they kept that for Mario Party. There they go. Oh jeez. Well, goofball back here is always lagging behind. Get him, Wario. Get him. Jim oh, Ken. Oh, oh. Whoa. Upsetting this chicken. Hmm? Yes. Chapter 2, the SST Cup. Return the hen to her nest. Oh, I don't care about that. Now, after uh, everything being in Wario's castle, we're finally able to get outside here. There we go, that's what I needed. Uh, well, let me get some of these. These coins, real quick. You want to bust out all those blocks you can. Because often there will be some kind of secret. Uh-oh. Is a rooster. I don't trust that guy. Heck, I keep losing s ah, I keep losing six coins every time that happens. It's pretty punishing. It's alright, I don't need it. Oh, oh. I don't know what his deal was, but, uh, yeah. Yeah! You can do the, the thing and, like, jump around and stuff, but, man, I guess I'll use the chicken for it, right? Does he work? Pretty sure, yeah, these blocks are just, like, an enemy. It doesn't really matter which one. Ah, oh, okay, chicken's hardy enough that he didn't get mm, dead. Alright, alright, that's enough of that. And the bam And... You can keep doing that. If you time it right, you can jump onto the other levels. Ah, not quite, not quite. You just gotta time your jumps. Oof, okay. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. And I know what you're saying, like, why are you spending so much time getting to all these hidden areas? That's the game, baby. I don't know what, what else you can really say. It's like, technically they're optional, but like, that's like the whole fun of the game. It's getting into the secrets. Oh man, those boomerangs, what'd I tell ya? I use bloody boomerangs. So powerful. Oh, crap, that was probably the treasure door, wasn't it? Oh, and I see there's another secret area over there. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Ooh. Oh, and that's her, that's the hen. That's who we needed. Oops. Oh, dang it. Where'd she go? Oh, oh there she is. Oh no, he's going crazy. Oh, he ain't into it. Oh, he doesn't like it. Alright, as long as you get the high ground, they're okay. Uh oh, uh oh. No, no, come back. Come back, I need you. No. Come back. Oh, dang it. I'm pretty sure she respawned. Yeah, she respawned over here. Okay, buddy. Stop, bro. Come 
bad. A jump, a jump. It could do this. And there we go, almost. Got to do it with him, I guess, but he ain't no problem. Whoops. Gotta make sure she lands in. There we go. Lay that egg. That egg twice the size of your body. No treasure this time. It's a pretty short level. I'm pretty sure it's that door I just zipped past, so. Yeah, let's play. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, okay, that's five or six. That's six. Yeah. Got in two. That's pretty good. I can't think of any of them that you could really get in one. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, there's probably one of them. Uh, the two. The two has the, uh... The one in the bottom right that is very unique. Escape from the woods. Will do. If you insist. Whoop, and there's the penguins. The penguins are actually a localization thing. Uh... Because originally they would throw beer. They would throw they would throw a glass of beer at Wario. And then America was like, Oh, we don't want our kids thinking about drinking beer. And it's like, well then why do you have so many beer ads on TV? And they're like, shut up! We're America. This is how we talk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I like that. Um Yeah, now it's just like a ball, I guess? Maybe a bowling ball? Like, it's supposed to... Oh, it knocked him silly. Something? I don't know. America is totally cool with violence, but they're not... They're just not cool about... You know. You can't swear. Or anything. Even though every... Every adult swears sometimes. Except for, I don't know, maybe there's some priests who don't. Like... Yeah, who cares? Honestly. Like, there's some stuff that we should probably keep from kids for at least a little bit, but like... So dr beer makes you drunk. Wow, such a... Such an inappropriate concept. Oh. Ah, there's something. Huh? Oh, what the... Ah, there it is. I knew there had to be some. Come on. Wario. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. If you... Okay, if you push up, he will kind of load up and jump a little higher. Crap! Well, let's come go in and out again. Thankfully, stuff does not reload, but enemies do respawn. There we go. All right. Keep on moving. Oh, more fire. More fire, okay. It's always, it's difficult to tell, it's like, is this a time where they're being helpful, or a time where they're being harmful? Alright, so now, I gotta try not to get in the water, and you cannot direct what, you cannot pick your direction. When you bounce off of something, you keep going. Oh, oh, here we go! Yeah, see? Turns into a little fireman. 
Oh geez, I'm burning. Turn to ash. And he's good. Nice. Nailed that first time. I remember doing that for like hours as a kid. Trying to get that. Alright. Uh, whoop. Whoa! See, I just assumed that was gonna be the case, but I was correct. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you there, but, uh, let's, let's get these coins real quick. Come on now, come on now. Come on. Come on. There it is. Goodness gracious, sometimes those ricochets. All right. Another level down. And we are about at the top of the hour. So I'm gonna do this and then go on my first break. Okay, we're in the half of the hour, boy. It's been one hour since I started, basically. Okay, that could be... That could be two, six, that could be a bunch of them. That could be uh, two, eight, six. Two, eight, or six. Or zero. Okay, that could be uh zero. Pretty sure. Pretty sure zero is the only one. Yep. Sweet. All right. Seven down. Seven in an hour. That means over six hours. I'm gonna have about. 42? I think that should definitely cover it. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's that's all for the moment. I'm going to be our back, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. Be our back with more Wario Land 2 in just a minute. Okay, okay. Go hydrate yourself, kids.
All right, I'm back. Let us continue on. Get in the teacup. I will get in the teacup. Let's do it. Oh, watch out for that guy. Let him zip by. And zip by him. Yeah, I really didn't use these zooms nearly enough as a kid. I feel like they expect you to use them a lot. It makes it so much more manageable. Who's this? Wait a minute. We'll come back to that. I'm pretty sure that's actually the place uh, we're going to end up going anyways. And... Da, 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 da. Get past, get past. Ah! Okay. We are good. Yeah. These are basically disappearing platforms. They just got, you know, a little more going on. Whoops. And they come back pretty quick. It's gotta be very sure-footed. Yeah. I know I missed a couple. Let's get them on the way back. Oh, coins! Nice. Oh, and then... The first of these guys, their whole thing is, yeah, every now and then they'll do that, so you gotta, if you touch them, they'll do that, and every now and then just on a timer, so you gotta kind of get them, they aren't up to some nonsense, but it can be tricky. I lost my coin. I got another one from him, though. So, I guess it works out. Oh, he's punching. Oh, Lord, he's punching. Do I need him? I don't know. He's staying with us. Find out. Meth surround and find out. Let's go. Oh, there's an eel. Oh, can't go that way. Watch out for this guy. Ah! Ah! Oh, they're scary. Oh, why are eels always so scary in Mario games? I guess Nintendo games. This is Mario does not appear in this game. In fact, did you know? Uh, super. Mario Land. So there was there was Super Mario Land on the original Game Boy, and you know it was pretty sm short and it was kind of weird. Um, but it's one of my favorite Mario's. And ah, frick. And then in the sequel, Six Golden Coins, they had Wario as the villain, right? The thing is, there is a Mario Land three. Mario Land three. Is uh, Wario Land. Wario Land is Mario Super Mario Land Three. Wario Land, and then they just continue from there with Wario Land Two, Wario Land Three, etc., etc. Similar to how Yoshi's Island is actually Super Mario World Two. A lot of people forget that. Ah, you gotta time it out like that. I see. But yeah, that's that's Super Mario World Two. Yoshi's Island. I, I just love that Nintendo did that sometimes, is they basically made a spin-off sequel, and then they just kept it spinning off into its own game. It's cool. And there it is. The SS Teacup. That's why everything everybody's had those pirate bandanas. It's a pirate ship. That's right. While Mar Wario has similar morals to pirates, he is not a fan. Look at this. Look at this little, little headpiece. Whatever you call it. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. 
And we're done. Finished. Yeah, if I'm able to get, like, about a world and a half every hour, I feel like I should be pretty solid on this. Hopefully I can do that one extra side one. But if not, I plan on streaming this more someday just for, like, a 100% series. Um... Boy, this could be, like, any of them. Okay, it can be eight... or zero. It is eight. Two! Oh, no! It could have been two! Oh, my God. No! Can't believe I made this mistake. Can't believe this. I'm a fool. Drop the anchor. Will do. Oh, uh, here we go. Another type of Wario. Check it out. This is... A fat Wario. He can just stomp, stomp on all his enemies. If he walks into an enemy, he destroys them. But also, he can break bricks underneath. Whoop. And you just walk around to, uh... Go back. Yeah, it's exercise. Eh. Sure. I appreciate that. Wario is already fat, but they're just like, no, nah, this is extra fat Wario. They're like, yeah, his... How he is normally is totally chill. It's just, uh, he got kind of obese. Ate too much cake. I always found these, inter these like, staples that are used as steps in this game. I don't know, seems a lot. You can't tell me there's no secret there. There has to be some, right? No? Just a lot of native space? Okay. You know, look, I could just keep going. But obviously, there's gonna be a secret down here. Why would I pass up with some kind of secret? That's the treasure room, right? No, it's not. Alright, so you saw before you have to throw an enemy at those guys. Or... Another option... Is with Fat Wario. Because anybody he runs into just gets smashed. Very good, very good. I love Fat Wario. Alright, those zombie Wario's pretty good. They're all pretty solid, you know? I don't think there's a type of Wario I don't like, although it's been a long time. Could be. Could be one in there somewhere. Is this the treasure? This is not the treasure room. It looks like it's a treasure room. Oh, do I gotta just bounce off him? That's how it is. Spear guys, you know? No. Guess I messed up. It's fine. I can go in here. Come back right through. He's right back up there. Now I just gotta time the jump just right. Yeah! Baby, let's go! Ah, no thanks. No thanks, bro. Not interested. Not even for a moment. Hold on. There we go. Uh oh, wait a minute. I need that guy. This guy. Bam. Sock him right in the teeth. Well, of course I was gonna go this way. Then we got this guy. And... Oh no, 
how do I do that? Did I mess up? Was I supposed to throw a guy at it? Yeah, whatever. Hit me with it. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, there's too much cake. There's too much cake. No, thank you. Oh. I can't jump as high. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's too much. It's too much. And go through now. When you're in the different forms, you can't go through doors usually. Sometimes you can, but not, not on the average. Oh, anchor it. Let's get that anchor in, baby. Yeah. I guess it's not even attached. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I guess I'm not... I'm not on camera for the Jack streams, but, uh... I got the, uh... Got the mustache going on. It's a little hard to twirl, because my, my hair is pretty curly. So it doesn't stay super clean, but, uh... It works. It works. Alright, let's go back to the game. <laughs> yeah, whoop. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, Loco and the Skeleton. How how are y'all doing? Which one? That could be five, three, two, eight, nine. Oh, it could be like half of them, or in fact, most of them. Okay, that could be that could be five, six, zero. I don't know, most of them still. Okay, five, eight. Not, nah, still, I didn't narrow anything down. Okay, that could be eight, six, eight or six. That could be eight. That's eight. There we go. Yeah. I, I can grow a pretty decent mustache. Can't grow a very good beard. Um, for No Shave November, didn't shave, and you can probably go back and watch those streams to see, but it's like my beard just does not connect to the mustache at all. So usually I'll just do No Shave November, w won't shave, and then at the end, I have a decent mustache and a pretty scraggly beard, so I'll just shave off the beard parts. Defeat Bobo! I don't remember who Bobo is. I guess we're gonna kick his ass. Here we go. Did it. Yeah, it's it's not super convenient because I'm still having to wear a mask all the time. You know, I got I'm fully vaccinated with the booster and everything, but like, it's still courteous to wear the mask until you know you get the all clear again, which they they really jumped ahead on that one last time. Um, I yeah. Oh no, I should have kept that spear guy. I think is what the puzzle is there. Um, but yeah, it makes it very difficult to, uh, wear a mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know, I think a beard without a mustache has, like, it's a bit, it's a bit odd sometimes, but it can be, it can look kind of decent. Whereas, a mustache without a beard, it's pretty good. It's, it's a good look. Now, oh, beards in general, facial hair, you know, as long as you keep it kempt, tighten it up, you know, use the, I, I used beard oil last time I had the handlebar mustache, and then this time around I'm using beard butter for the mustache, it's pretty good, it's like a balm kind of thing, it's, uh, it smells like mint, which is nice, although I, I really preferred, I had like a sandalwood beard oil last year. Or not last year, I think it was the year before that, but that was that was a very nice scent. Ooh. Ah, no. Ah! Ah, dang it! Got him. Whoa, uh oh. Watch out, he's got a boomerang! Oh, crikey! I keep making that joke over and over again. I could actually do it okay. Australian accent. I 
Can I fit this guy through there? I don't think I can, but let's give it a shot. Whoops! Fell back down. Oh yeah, the Wario Land games. I mean, I've been going off about it, but it's like so ahead of its time in like a ton of ways. Like it doesn't, it was an early game that didn't do lives. Um, it has like all these interesting like concepts mechanically. Like it's really fascinating. It was like my favorite game for a long, long time since like childhood until uh, Shovel Knight came around. And that's, that's the fave right now. Andrew kazooie is up there too. But, uh, yeah, I'd say the first Wario Land is okay, it's kind of bland. It was, like, original, original Game Boy, and also Virtual Boy, which is interesting. It was one of the Virtual Boy games. Um, but yeah, Wario Land 2 is a good place to start, or, like, the Wario Land, Wario Land 3 and onward were on GBA. Those are pretty good. Um, I also like the WarioWare games. They're totally different, but they're, they're super fun. Haven't gotten the newest WarioWare. It looks okay. I don't know. It looks a little too much like the Wii one where they really leaned into the uh, motion controls. Yeah, this is super fun, though. And uh, it's going to be a short marathon. I'm going to visit family, you know, next next week. So I would usually do my marathon stream last Saturday, but I'm doing it today. Just getting ahead of time, doing a quick little short one. Should still be a pretty juicy stream around six hours. Oh, oh, right, that's Bobo. What you got? What you got? Uh oh, how do I? How do I do this? Right, I think he's gonna swoop in, and I got it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the thing with the bosses in this, I pointed out earlier, is um, they don't do damage. You don't really have health or lives or anything in this game. But what they do is they basically kick you out of the arena. So you have to, uh, you have to start over. So they, they waste your time. I remember this. I remember that you gotta duck down to not fly away so fast. Oh, he's red now. Oh, red is always the last phase. Oh, no, no! Aw, oh, dang it. He's doing like a little, a little... Oh, he's doing a W. It's like Wario. That's cute. I think I got one more hit on him. Yeah, the, and the very cool thing, the thing that really makes this ahead of its time, is it has branching paths. Like, it, it, it actually has multiple endings, multiple storylines. It doesn't open it up until the end, but then it shows you, like, this huge map of all the different things you could do. And it's, um, it's incredible. It's so cool. There's a ton of secret exits and stuff. Like, that is what really blew me away as a kid. Because this was on a Game Boy Color. Like, this was... That whole idea was, like, so revolutionary um, at the time. Like, obviously, RPGs would do it and stuff, but, like, pre-PS1? I'm pretty sure this was pre-PS1 when they had, like, Silent Hill and uh, Resident Evil and stuff. They had all the, the secret endings and things. Um, okay, this could be most of them. Let's see. Let's still let's narrow it down. Okay, that could be eight. Eight, nine, three... 8, 9, 3, 5, that's no, still most of them. Oh, okay. 5, 8, 9, or 3. Uh. I think that's 5. Yeah, that's 5. Cool. Uh, but yeah, with the advent of emulators and such now. Emulators and such as it is now. There's no reason not to check out the old Wario games. They were all on, like, I think the most recent one was, like, GameCube. And there was, like, one on DS. Um, but, like, most of them are on, like, Game Boy. Game Boy Advanced. Oh, no! They're getting away! They're getting away with my money! What's your plan now, Wario? What are you even going to do? Oh, there she is. The leader of the gang. This music is okay. It definitely kind of grates at a certain point, but... 
It's not the worst I've ever heard. Get to Maze Woods. Hello. Oh yeah, you can fly around with the owl. Oop. Yeah, the PlayStation D-pad really sucks. You kind of just direct him, like, just push in the direction that you want him to go. Oh, s god dip. Well, I gotta go back. Get back on him. Like, even this, the idea of a level that's built around an owl carrying you around on the Game Boy Color? Like, that's a bonkers, like, revolutionary idea for the time. That pixel art looks pretty solid. Yeah, the music is a lot more grating than I remember, as I said, but you know what? This is, this is pretty good. Thank you, owl friend. Ooh, I'm pretty sure he comes back. Whoa, watch out for these guys. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! Fake coin. Oh, he was fishing. He was fishing for me. Fishing from Wario with coins. I totally forgot about that. That is hilarious. Yeah, here. Yeah, here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see now. I can see his his trickery. Oh, gotta get through quick. Oh, 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 oh. See, I can see the. Just a little more gray. Whoa, oh, okay. Didn't actually uh, get me that time, weird. I don't know what that was about. Well, uh, whatever. Then I gotta get this guy to bop that guy. Get through. This is in case you come through because they respawn. Nice. Oh, yep, here's the owl again. I'll be out, buddy. If you do hold in the direction that you're, whoop, that he's going, it goes a little faster. Oh, it's really tricky because it makes you twice as tall. The owl is about as big as Wario is. Well, maybe not exactly twice. It looks like he's a little shorter, but only by like a few pixels, maybe. Oh, I want those coins. No! No, oh, dang it. Dang it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, da, da. Going, going. Let me out, let me out. Oh, these circle ones are like the bane of my existence. Ah! Okay, made it. Who is tricky? Nope, oh, nope. I need... I need somebody. This fella. You are my query. Wait a minute, let me just... Let me get some pocket change. Every coin counts in a Wario. There we go. Ah, oh, sometimes you get a little overzealous. I even like the animation for the shoulder tackle. It's literally just like, you can tell it's just like flashing yellowish, like kind of beige pixels over his arm. But, like it really conveys the like power and strength of it. All right, ooh, ooh, ooh. watch out, watch out. Wait a minute, actually, so I'm up here. Make sure not, no waste not, want not. Ah! Do -do 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 -do. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Eh. Get around. 
Oh boy. Oh, you know what'd be really. I probably could have streamed today was uh the new FNAF. It's, it's it doesn't run super well on my PlayStation though, because we got like the original PlayStation, not the Pro. And like Coco's been playing through it. I don't know. Everybody's gonna be streaming FNAF today though. Honestly, like why would I waste my time doing that when I could play play uh the Warios? I've only missed one so far, so I feel like that's pretty good. Alright, save complete. Defeat the giant spearman. Let's do it. Oh, oh. Ah, crap. I needed him. Help me out, bud. Give me a little flame. Wow! Alright, and then we just... Oh, gotta move back. Gotta move. There we go. I appreciate that the fox... The fire fox... Just, like, pops in the water, you know? Makes sense. Ooh, the ghost coins. Never really found out what the ghost coins did as a kid. I'd see them and I was like, they're probably pretty important, right? But, uh, yeah, never, never really found out what they were all about. Maybe I should look that up on the wiki. You know, we got the, we got wikis now. There's no reason not to, uh, 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 oh. There's no reason not to look it up. Hold on now. Alright, let's... Whoop. Dang, all these secret pitfalls. There. There, okay. Whoops! Oh no, I didn't want... Oh, good. I didn't knock him into the water. Whew! That could have been frustrating. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Oh, that's a good way to, to teach you how to move the, the furnace. That's really clever. Have a shy, uh, well, not shy guy, spear guy moving right at you. That's really clever. I like that. Right. Oh, maybe I should just, uh. Yeah. And we come around. I'm just gonna bounce off them. There we go. I never realized also as a kid that holding up helps. Oh, silver coins appear randomly about a 1 in 64 chance from enemies and 1 in 128 from blocks. They get 100 coins? Oh my god. I never, yeah, I was never paying attention to the numbers when that happens. That's an incredible amount of coins. Wow, yeah, I had no idea. I like I played this a ton as a kid, but I just I wasn't really paying attention to the numbers. I was just having fun, I guess. I don't know. Thanks for the info, soap agent. And thanks for tuning in. How you doing? I, I presume from uh what you said that you were quite quite knowledgeable in Mar uh, Mario Wario Land 2. Ooh. There we go. Oh, there he goes. I spooked him. He's going. See, even stuff like this. Like, it's a simple thing, but, like, thinking of how... Thinking of how, um... 
how a moving platform could work. Like, because you could just have moving platform without any personality, or you could have... You could have, like, a little turtle that you scare, and you'd go riding on him. Yeah. No, I this was, it was, for a long time, my favorite game ever. I played it so much as a kid. You know, all the branching storylines were just, like, so mind-blowing to me. I never ended up getting, uh, like, three, the ones on GBA, unfortunately, but I'm definitely gonna stream them someday. I wish they'd make more of them. What was the last one? I, I can't, was it Master of Disguise, or was, uh, um, Warrior World first? Because I'm pretty sure Warrior World, like, did away with, like, a lot of this stuff, didn't it? Just kind of became a pretty standard 3D platformer. Sure, these... No, they're just being deterrents right now. That's always the thing, is like, is this enemy being helpful and giving me something I need for a secret, or are they just being obnoxious and getting in my way? That, that dichotomy and that, like, balance is so, so interesting, and I really just, from a design perspective, I really love that. Oh my god. Whoo! I am really surprised I was able to get on the turtle there. Oh my god, hold on, let me add a stream marker. I gotta use my phone. My new setup. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the Twitch app. Oh, this. Uh, uh. uh, where is stream marker? There we go. Master of Disguise came out most recently, I think, or Shake It for the Wii. Well, Shake It was... Wait, was Shake It a Wario Land game? I thought that was a WarioWare game. There's a new WarioWare that just came out pretty recently. Yeah, the, the thing with Master of Disguise is I saw it, like, as a kid. I was, or, well, like, a teenager at that point. But I would see it, and I'd be like, oh, man, I loved Wario Land 2, but then I looked at... Master of Disguise, I'm like, this just doesn't... I don't know, something about it just seems a little thin. It doesn't look like there's gonna be enough going on to, like, pay for it. Real Land Shake It. Okay, I didn't hear about that one. Huh. I'll have... I'll, I'll have to check them all out at some point. I've also played a lot of WarioWare. I don't know how well that would work for a stream, necessarily. Um, specifically, WarioWare Touched on the, the DS. Like, I played the crap out of that, and also my mom played the hell out of that one, which was very interesting to me. She was never, like, really big into video games for the most part, but, like, she, she played that one all the time. Foxes. Oh well. Oh, there's the guy. Let's keep on keeping on. Alright. Bam. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. This isn't how you do this, is it? Ah, yes. You gotta ground pound him. Okay. Yeah, slammed. I love the way that he changes color with each hit. Like, they, all the bosses change color in one way or another, but it's like... Him specifically just switching between these bright... St different stripes and shading. Hey! Another silver coin! Alright. Oh yeah, I didn't get the treasure there. Alright, let's play. I try and get these under six. Uh, this could be three, three, four... This would be most of them still. Uh, that could be... Oh, that could be six, six, zero, or eight. Oh, that's zero. Yeah! My, my, I can usually get it within six, 
my hope is to get it within like two. One, I don't think there's any that you can be certain for one. If you were like speed running, well, you'd probably skip it if you were speed running, but like if you were trying, trying to be real like sneaky about it, trying to like just be risky, I guess is actually the word I'm, I meant. I don't know. It's hard to talk and play video games at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, he's still coming. Ah, ah. Well, there's a door down there. Let me see if there's any coins up here first. Oh, many coins. Whoa. I'll get in. Oh, just around. There we go. You are a coin, my friend. What's up here? Oh, more seagulls. Yeah, I wish they'd make just like another Wario Land in the vein of like three or four or something. They're, they've mostly shifted to just the WarioWare series, which is fine. Those, those games can be pretty fun. Um, it doesn't have the, like, the meat to it that, uh, Wario Land does, you know? Ooh. There we go. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, man, I feel like they probably lined this up. Oh, crap! Well, at least not want not. I'll line this up perfectly so that you'll always get knocked that far back. Mm, coins, though. Yeah. Damage boost, damage boost my way across. That's the thing, is that you lose coins when you damage boost, so it's like... You gotta be making more than you're losing. But honestly, you could damage boost, like, infinitely in this game. Whoa. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that until I saw if I needed him. Yeah, yeah. When it's, I'm not gonna do that. Alright, another shot at this. Here we go. One, two. Up. Ah, stop. Stop. Not quite, not quite. Yeah, right, right, I keep forgetting. Whoa! Okay, okay, I don't trust that one. That one's not gonna be worthwhile to me. I feel like this one that's gonna be trickier to get to is gonna be the one. Maybe that's the trick. Nope, nope. Ah, flip flapping. Give it another go. Here we go. Ah, oh, horse puppy. Come on, let's do this. Give me, give me one. Give me, nope. Oh, a little early, a little early. Oh, there we go. I accidentally double tapped, but that ended up being what I wanted to do anyways. Oh, it's just the treasure room? Well, still could use it. Let's go hard. All right, I'm gonna look at the, the left side. Y'all let me know if I mess this up. Oh, right there, right? Yeah, there he is. I knew that. An apple of Eden? Hmm. Well, the treasure is still pretty good. This is going to be interesting. All right. Going. Ooh, all these, like, spinning shurikens. Whoa. This is very dicey. Ooh. Go on. Go on. All right. 
Ah, uh, no! Aw, oh, man. Uh, I got s pretty far. Hmm. What's this door down here? Let me grab these coins first. What is this door? Oh, it's a different owl case. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Ah, there's the end. At least there's an end. Keep hitting the bottom one because I'm used to B being uh, on the bottom with like the switch and stuff. Was that a secret exit? Ooh, I'm trying to do the like straightforward casual mode. All right, that could be most of them. That could be five, three, or nine. That could be any of them. That is five or nine. Still either. Come on, give me one of the ones in the top right. Well, oh wait, what am I there? Ah, uh, let's answer. Let's go five. No, it was nine. Damn it, they didn't give me the two I needed to tell. Oh well. Oh wow, has it already almost been an hour again? I'm really flies with this one. Um, wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, this is still accurate. Oh, the bees! The bees gave me nightmares as a kid. Just the concept of them, something about it's like, ooh. Oh, it just feels bad. Blech. I don't know, something about it makes me feel like kind of, ooh. Kind of gross. Whoa. Alright, give me a little more so I can get some more coins up there. Oh, come on, to the right, to the right, or to the left. Oh my gosh, I'm not even telling my, I'm doing self the right instructions. Nice, okay. So then, yeah, let's just, whoops. And get some coins. Oh, and more turtle. I love the turtle. He's just doing his job. He's just going along. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, dang it. Oh, good. There's another turtle immediately. That's convenient. So I'm guessing that means I don't want to run too far ahead of him because he'll probably respawn. Eh. No! My turtle! Yeah, that tiny little extra bit of jump that um, you get from holding up. I really wish I'd known that as a kid, because that makes so many of these jumps so much more manageable. Come on now, come on now. Nice. Oh, another door. Well, let's do this one first. Get him. Yeah, yeah, you're coming with me, bro. Oh, you think you can just make my head all swole up and you can't? You can't come along? Rude. Wop. There we go. What else we got here? All right, there's probably coins up top, but I'm just gonna avoid these as best I can. Hmm, left door or right door? Oops. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go right door. Let's let's check this out. Ah, here's the treasure room. All right, we're doing hard mode. Looking at the right side this time. Who are we looking for? Ah, Chef Boy. Let's see what we got. And he was here. Yes. Uh, you got to use your peripherals on it. Uh oh. I don't know if that's a very politically correct mask there. Ooh. Moving on from that. Oh come on! I got oh I gotta do a. I gotta do the thing right. Come on now. One more, one more. Oh, come on, Wario, you got this. There we go. Nice. And then the boss is next, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not super comfortable with that particular treasure. Ugh. What do we get? That could be six, five, six or five. That's yeah, still either of them. That is six. Nice. Got in three. Pretty good. Yeah, missed a couple in there, but we're still doing all right. Defeat the giant bee. Let's do it. Ah, uh, no. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, silver coin. I wish you could, like, go faster doing this. Just how slow it is that ends up being obnoxious. Ah, dang it! Angle was just a little wrong. Oh, hey! There's some coins here, so that's not too bad. fine. Mark my words. Don't mark my words. He's probably going to give me... Yep. Right over here. Frick. Don't get him too low. Don't be able to see him down here. Got him. challenge. Whoop, there's a challenge. I feel challenged. Okay. Whoop, there we go. Do 
How do people feel about Wario Land Shake It? Since you mentioned it. I know that was a while ago. Apologies, I'm just focused on the game. Um... Because, like, it's a lot of Wii games, right? They'd always have that... Or, like, Wii or DS games, they'd always have that issue where it's, like, the motion controls or the... The, um... The touch controls would just kind of be the game. Like, they wouldn't put much more into it than that. And it was... It could be a little frustrating. Oh, hey. Not what I expected, but pretty cool. I don't think this was the best idea. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. Oh man, I didn't even. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care enough to keep fiddling with that. What? Twenty-four coins. That is a lot of coins. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Here we go. B time. Ugh, I don't like his vulturey neck. Oh, got him. Oh, that's that's not too hard. Uh oh. Oh, little B, little B, watch out. There we go. Got rid of him. Surprised this isn't like a queen bee. Seems like a pretty standard idea. Oh, there we go. Uh, whoa, almost tackled right underneath him. That would have been bud. I would not have enjoyed that in. Oh snap, he came back while they were still here. This might get hard. Oh no, that was the last hit. Okay, cool. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, that was the problem with, like, the Wii WarioWare, is, like, the, the motion controls were basically just treated as such a gimmick that it just didn't have very fun, fun, like, actual games going on. Oh, this could be five or six. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. And the GameCube one was so good. Pretty sure the Wii U one ended up being pretty good too, but almost nobody had a Wii, Wii U. Come on, give me the one. Thank you, it's a six. Nice job on the boss, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know that like you lose so much time when you lose to one of the bosses. I'm I'm trying very carefully to like not get hit by any of them, but sometimes you don't got a choice. All right. Save complete, what's next? Yes! My favorite one. I love the city one. The city one is so good. Oh, they going. Oh, this goofy guy again. You can just never keep up. SMH. Whoa. Going right through. Or, oh, no, 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 it's not the city yet. It's the train first, right? No, no, wait, that's right. The train is the city. It's it's part of it. Okay. Sorry, it's just, it has been a long time since I've played this game. So I just, I have, like, memories of specific levels, but the overall structure, I'm like, I don't, I don't fully get what's up. Like the way the screen shakes when it goes over a bump. Like having to go between each train car, the way it's like compartmentalized. Like I, I love that in a game. When they like compartmentalize um, a level. So like you just have to go like a little chunk at a time. Uh oh. Oh, Crocky the Boomerang! Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Okay. No, that something about that really, 
really makes me think good thoughts about level design. Oh, oh, and the wind on top, right, yep. This is all rushing back to me. Oh. Oh, okay. Man, I gotta deal with these guys again. All right, let's try not to goof around too much. I don't wanna lose too much time. In this marathon stream. It is at about where I take my break, but obviously I'm gonna finish the level first. And I'll be back around. To, or rather, I'll, the opposite, I will go take a break. Stretch my legs, get some water, get some, uh, get up the bathroom, have a snack. It's about, it's about lunchtime, me, but I might, um, have some lunch. Wow. Yeah, yeah, da da. All right. Keep it going. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's go see what's happening on the roof. I gotta say, uh, it's not in this, but one of my favorite mechanics in one of the Wario Land games is in th oh, 3, I'm pretty sure? Um, where you do like a, oh, okay, time for the treasure. Where you do a, you, you go through a level and then you get the key and then you have to run back really fast, but different parts are like blocked off and stuff. That's really clever. It basically turns into a whole new level. Okay, looking for a gooey guy. Oh, saw him. Looked right at him. There he is. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, Soap Agent. I didn't even notice. Apologies. I I really appreciate that. I Yeah, I do plan to do more Wario Land, for sure. Both this game, I definitely want 100% this, because I, I never ended up managing as a kid. So I've always wanted to go back and 100% this, and then, uh, the other Wario Lands. I never really got too deep into any of the other Wario Lands. I think that they are pretty ripe for content. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. I, my instinct is always like, pop them, don't worry about it. Yeah, see, I needed him, though. Ooh. Anything over here? Nope, that's it. Bow. Great sound effect on the train stopping, too. And I got an ocarina. Cool. Ooh, almost got a thousand coins. It's not gonna last, though. Gotta spend some of them on this. Draw another one. This tells me nothing. That's zero, right? Yeah, that can only be zero. Nice, got in two. Pretty good. Or no, got in three, but still. Pretty good, pretty good. Up on the rooftop in town. All right. I am going to take a quick break, but I'll be our back with more Warrior Land 2 in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the inner dial. Be our back in just a minute. Okay? Okay.
Hey, I'm back. Oh, there's a game show. I mean, a cliff bar. Ah, my instinct is a click back on OBS, but that pauses the emulation. All right, let's go. Watch out. He's throwing bottles. Whoop. Got him. Oh, only for a little bit, though. Oh, right, right, right. You can see which ones are going to fall. I wasn't paying much attention. I am eating a peanut butter banana with dark chocolate. Cliff Bar. Pretty good. I haven't had Cliff Bars in a long time. I usually get the, um... I think there's like a mint chocolate chip one that I liked. Like if they got anything with blueberry. I usually go for blueberry stuff. Pretty good. It's not that different from like a granola bar, really. There's a lot of oats. But it's pretty tasty. Uh, fairly healthy. I mean, it's got a ton of sugar still. You know, all the all these protein bars or whatever, they're just like, they're the healthy option. They're not the healthy option. They're always super, super sugary. But they just have protein. It's it's similar to, like, a sugary cereal technically has a bunch of vitamins in it because they specifically fortified it with vitamins, but... But sugar's... Sugar's gonna get you. Yeah, I always make sure to keep, like, a big ol', big ol' bucket of snacks when I'm streaming. I don't dig into them usually outside of, like, marathons, but, uh, it's always good to have them there, you know. Healthy stuff. Nuts, granola bars, um, root leather, pretzel nuggets, you know, the, like, peanut butter filled pretzels. I like those a lot. They can be pretty salty, though. I try not to do anything too sugary because I don't want to crash or anything. Um, I did get... <laughs> I, I was at uh, Circle K earlier, and I saw they had, uh, you know, donuts? The little mini donuts? Now they have jumbo donuts. The otherwise known as donuts. <laughs> Why do they... What? Like, I get what they're saying, but, like, that's really silly. Um, but yeah, glazed blueberry. Quality donuts. I should, I should really do less carbs or something. I don't know. I work out like a lot. So, I, I've gotten fairly strong, but I've, I've gotten a little pudgy too. Because I, I eat a lot to try and build up muscle, and then it's like, I don't really do a lot of cardio, and you can only really burn off so many calories. But I feel, I, I don't mind that much. To be honest, my. I, Ah, excuse me, my ideal body would be, uh, like, basically, like, a gut, but with a ton of muscle. That, like, super dad bod kind of thing. Like the, like, Thor in the new, uh, God of War Ragnarok. That's good stuff, man. I, I like a classic, classic strongman look where it's just, like, the big old gut. But he's bending like a steel bar around his neck. Or like, a, what was it? Franco Colombo would like blow up a hot water bottle. Which is incredible. Like the amount of force and pressure you'd need to be able to manage that. So, so ludicrous. But I love that stuff. there's any like safe way you basically just have to hit the jump just right ah 
Ah, no, 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 no! Oh man, oh no, all the way back, ah. Maybe I don't like this, the city as much as I remember. Cause this is like my least favorite part of any platformer, the, the level where you're just thrown back to the bottom of a huge tower you're climbing. When you mess up. And like... Nope. Nope! Oh man! Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. No more messing around. No, I can just jump across. That actually wasn't that hard. I guess I just assumed that it was too short. Yeah. There I go, not trying things. Come on. A very incurious way to approach it. That's no good. You must keep a childlike wonder and curiosity in your heart at all times. To grow in this world of ours. Oh, geez, he's punched. Curious about that. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're getting to the top. That looks like a roof to me. Crap. Oh. Oh. Wasn't the worst thing, I guess. Ah, no. It's coming right at me. I'm back. Okay. Wow. That scared me for a minute. I, my whole computer froze up. Hold on. Hold on, my monitor isn't working. Let me, uh... Uh... Come on. I'm not get Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Okay, just had to select it from the list again. That was scary. My computer okay? I don't even feel very warm. The fans are going crazy. But like they always do when OBS is open, so I don't know. Ooh, okay. Crisis averted. That was very, very concerning. I can't afford another computer right now. Well, I probably could. I'd have to put it on like credit though, and I don't, don't want to do that. Saving up to get like an actual like no oh man I was so close ah uh, saving up to get like an actual gaming computer sometime those things are pretty pricey even the like kind of mid range one I'm looking at is like twenty five hundred bucks probably granted I also am looking at like a monitor and stuff so there's extras that make that a little more pricey. No, god damn it! These guys with these beer bottles. Into my ass. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just keep it going. Okay. Just gotta be more careful about clearing them out, I guess. Got him. Got him. Nice. Now let's do this. Let's be very certain that we get it done. Alright. Come on. Hop back in. Do I have to jump back to do it? There we go. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, climbing. Climbing up a tower like this. Not super fun in most platformers, honestly. Get into the 
by this clip bar. Now there it is, one of those classic references to themselves, and also, you can probably see the very subtle little secret there. The secret door in the D. Because the D in Nintendo gives you money. Add Hydra, how do I do that? I, I would love to. I have sound alerts open and hydrate is an option. I just don't know, uh... Right? Is sound alerts on there? Like, I, I added it. Should be an option. I'll drink water anyways. I, I already drink water very, very often, so it's usually not a problem for me. Yeah, I don't know how to add that hydrate button other than put it into the sound alerts. Hmm? Alright, Chef Man, looking on the left. Yeah, I looked right at him. There he is. I appreciate your concern for my health, but hydration is, you know, as you can probably tell by my comically huge water bottle, hydration is not something I struggle with. have to figure that out. I, I'm gonna revamp the stream for next year. Like, I gotta work it out, but I'm gonna do, like, a whole new background and overlay. Um, whole new branding underneath. All that stuff. I'm gonna have get, like, the actual, like, transparent CSS chat up top. You know. Oh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it real nice. Granted, it will still be in a square like that, it'll just be laid over the square so it still looks like a chat. Um, play. Yep. Oh. I got 1100 coins now, sweet. Uh, that could be three, five, or nine. That, that doesn't give me anything. Okay. Hmm, still really giving me nothing. Okay, that could be nine or three. Give me one of the left ones. That's nine. Bam, there we go. I don't remember how many stories, because each world is a story in this. I don't remember how many stories there are in the main thing. I think I'm like halfway through. That would, that would track, but I'm not shirt shirting down in the cellar. Oh, oh, it's one of these guys. Ah, this is one of the first, like, really open levels. Here I go. Ooh. Ah, crud. It's fine, there's probably another one of those guys around here somewhere. Uh, well, can't go that way. Oh, I could go underneath. Aha! You got, yeah, feed me. Good the other woods. Oh, there I go. Okay, you can do a bigger jump as even Fat Wario. That's nice. Okay. 
get it, get it, get it. Oh, we're falling. And there we go. Third floor. See, this is even more of a maze than the actual maze one. Oh, who, what's this guy's deal? What's this guy's deal? Oh, he just hurts me. Okay, he doesn't give me anything. Well, that's all right. I got plenty of coins. No. Oh, I'm losing those ones. Man, I was just playing Paper Mario as well. It is wild how, like, unforgiving old games were with, like, knocking knocking items out and, like, just like, how quickly they fade away. Like, in Paper Mario, it's, like, an instant. It's, like, immediate. You just lose all the stuff on the ground if you're not immediately grabbing it. Get out of here, dude. Come on. Dead. Thank you. Dead. Oh, I needed him. Oh, whatever. I think I'm okay. Nope, I'm not okay. Well, let's try again. Got it wrong the first time, but we're we're good. Alright, I don't even need a specific one, I just need A1. And I ain't talking steak sauce. Yo, real talk though. Steak sauce on a steak, it's all right. But where it really shines, steak sauce on a burger, that's good. That's delicious, right? Just get that zip and that tanginess. It's like, it's like way better ketchup, basically. Really, really good. On a steak, it's like, well, I, I'd, I'd rather taste the steak personally, but on a on a burger, Ooh, baby. Cause like a burger, no matter how ma good you make a burger, it's still just ground beef, you know. So it's it, it's rarely gonna be anything that special. Although, granted, the best burger I've ever had was leagues above the most okay steaks I've ever had. Right, it's, it's, it's delicious. Oh, come on. Where is even my gold here? Like, I'm not even sure where I'm meant to, I know, like, I need to find the... the end door, wherever it is, but, like... There's so many side areas here that I don't even know what... what they want me to do. This will just keep falling. Wait, the cellar. So yeah, I'm supposed to go down low, as low as I can go. So that's why all these guys are here. It makes the certain platforms go down. Very clever, very clever. I like it. It's a fish. It's a dang fish. Oh, hold on. I'm flowing back up. Cliff bar is pretty nice. It's just got that slight, that slight hint of chocolate. Oh, there's the end. Cool. Slight hint of cho the dark chocolate. That slight hint of the banana is really what's good. It's got that nice fruit sweetness. It's good stuff. most of them. Okay, that narrows it down. That's five or six. Give me 
something on the left. That's six. Just double checking, because I got messed up on that two that one time. I was positive it was an eight. Escape from the factory. The factory's a good level, too. Get him. Whoop, watch out. Watch out for that guy. I like how there's no background behind the coins. Like, it's obviously, it's just a specific block texture. That's just how they do it, but... It's cool to be able to see that. Oh, and they tease you with the end door right at the start. That's that's good. Okay, could you please? Thank you. Whoop. All right, another door. And that flips all of the conveyor belt. Yeah, I remember playing through, playing through this specific level for hours as a kid. It was so long. I liked it, but it's just like it took so long to actually like find your way, especially as a kid. And coins. I'm hoping that's not the case today, but it is one of those maze-like levels, you know? And more coins! You need all you can get. Let's go back through here now that everything has been turned. And that oh, that's it? That's the end? That can't be the end. Already? That's no. Was I really that dumb as a kid? Was I really that dumb that I just the ending was right there and I just never got it? I guess, yeah. Wow, that was a super short level. Or nine. Give me one of the left ones. Actually, all right. Yeah, I remember that taking a million years as a kid. I'm sure there's like a secret exit that takes you off to a, like a whole other world. <coughs> And here we go, my favorite boss. Anyone for B-Ball? I loved this boss as a kid. He's kind of a pain, but the concept is so fun that I never really minded. Here we go.
lot of lead up to this one. I don't think it's too many more rooms, but taking their sweet time. I love this. I love how you can just go into the buildings. Ah, there he is. How am I meant? I don't know. I'm gonna be back in a minute, though. Let's see if I can get any more coins. Oh, yeah, this is where he throws you to. Whoops. Oh, oh, actually that helped. Thanks, bud. All right, here we go. It's time. Y'all ready for this? It's literally a basketball game against a rabbit. Here's the thing, you don't use the ball though. You know what you use? Check it out. Oh, come on. Gotta get it. There we go. You use your opponent. Ah, but you can miss the hoop. That's right. And if I mess up, he's gonna do that to me. It's best of three. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. I got one on the board. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, he's got me. He's got me. Ooh, okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, two on the board. I always had trouble with this one as a kid as well. It's a lot easier than I remember. Probably because I just have, like, adult reflexes and such. Man, yeah, this, this is such a fun idea. And it's good! Ow. Kid me would be very impressed with that. It always took me forever to beat that one. Give me one of the top ones, thank you. It's seven. Doesn't want to give me anything. Um, oh, I don't even remember this world. Okay, we're getting close. Wow, you know, the estimate was five hours, but actually, I'm really ripping through this. I might be able to finish it in just four. Which is good, because I want to show off... I, I want to show off the, um... Final chapter, wow, yeah. I, I caught up really good. Um, God, yeah, I really ripped through this. Okay, cool. I want to show off one of the secret routes Um, after I finish this up. Because the, the fact there even are secret routes was so cool to me as a kid. Like, now it's it's... It's standard, you know, all, so many games have them. But back this, back when this was out? Nah, dude, that was a super new idea. Whoa, watch out. Oh, 
Ah, oh, no! I was right at the end. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, I should have hung on to that box. Oh well. Flippin, uh, I forgot. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Hello, my owl friend. Help me break into this castle, please. Tricked you. Gotcha. Don't come at me. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you, my elf friend. Ooh, wait a minute. A little sneaky secret. I don't want to hurt him. Oh, okay, as long as I don't touch him, it's fine. Feels a little mean, but that's Wario, baby. He's mean. Let's go. Let's do it. Any secrets? No. Is there a way to jump down? I don't... Hmm. Probably some kind of secret path. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're going. Get through. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I wonder if there's a secret way up there. Oh my god. Who would have thought? I know I can be quite sarcastic at times, but I hope you understand it's from a place of love. Ah, no. He was coming right at me. All right. Oof. All right. Uh, drop down. Is that a bad idea? No, that's fine. Ah, uh, not these guys again. They're throwing your beer at me. Ain't you gonna drink that? Nice. Got it. Oh, beer does sound nice. Well, not a beer. Uh, it's a, it's a hard cider would be really nice today. It's the weekend. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I gotta... No? Ah, frick. I was gonna let him do the fire, but I messed it up. Oh, well, that's the first. First of the last five. All right. Let me readjust here. Apologies for the squeaky boom arm. I need to get a better one, but, you know, it's just kind of a low priority. I want to get a better one for here and for my, like, unboxing and stuff set up back there, but right now, I got, I got bigger stuff to do. I'm, I'm taking a trip. Trips are expensive. Hmm. Maybe like four, nine, or eight? Maybe nine or eight. Give me the bomb left one. Give me the bomb left. That's the only one. Or that one. It's nine.
Nice. Yeah, and as you can see, even going through the main story, that's only half of the game. There's still a whole other half in all the secret routes. It's bonkers, and it's so cool. Storm the castle. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Crunch it up. Destructible terrain, that's also a thing that's more common now, but like... It was so fun in this. Aw, oh, dude! Aw, oh, it's, it's the guy! It's the guy with the hammer! Aw, oh, this is one of my favorite parts too. Hold up, check it out. Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him. It's Spring Wario! Here we go! Woo! Check it out, check out how high he can go. Spring? Okay, it's not that high, but still. Spring Wario is pretty great. This is one that just wears off. There's other ones that like don't wear off, but they do. Um, they do go away if you get like certain things, like you know you can put yourself out if it's fire, or the uh, zombie. You just gotta get uh, in the light. It's interesting. I don't want. I don't want to kill him. I need his help. Is help for right here. Gimme. Come gimme. Yes. Yes. Give it to me. Then you kinda gotta wait for it to wear off. One of the unfortunate things about those ones is like is you just gotta wait. Got him. Wow. No thank you. No thank you, sir. Oh, wait! Ah, oh, I needed him for that. Nah. Wasn't thinking. Well, that's alright, because I just go through. Come right back. Gimme. Alright, there we go. Can I go through? I cannot go through. Then, as Spring Mario did his... Or Spring Wario, I keep mixing him up. I'm sure... Wario would be incredibly offended. Mario would be chill about it. Up, 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 up. Come on, change back. There we go. Go through the door. There we go. Oh, we got this guy. I think he's like ice? What's your thing? Oh no, small! That's right, it's small Mario. Or bleh, Wario! Ah! Why do I keep doing this? He's little guy. I don't think. Can he go through the. He can go through like mouse holes. I'm pretty sure. You can also go through tiny holes. He also changes back with water for some reason. Give me, give me another, another small town. Just a small town Wario. Living in a bunch of barrios. He did a big old jump to go through that door. Doo 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 doo. Oh yeah, the dressers came back. I appreciate that, there's like a, there's like a symmetry to it, you know? That this castle is so much like my castle, you know? It's, it's, it's like poetry, it rhymes. My, my George Lucas impression is a little too close to my uh, Pepperidge Farm voice. It's like, if I, if I, do you remember uh, going, going down to the old creek and looking at frogs? Pepperidge Farm remembers. And then just like a little younger is just like, yeah, it's such like poetry rhymes. And then, younger than that would just be, wow. This is just Owen Wilson. This is, they are a, all voices are really the same when you when you look too close. Oh, okay, treasure. Let's see. 
Let's see if I can nail this. Hard, okay. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got that guy. All right, I'm looking on the right this time. No, it wasn't that. It was that? No! Ah, oh, no, it was the one I was gonna pick. Aw, oh, man, okay. Let's do that again. I feel cheated. I was gonna, uh, the one I was, uh, I second guessed myself. You gotta go with your first instinct. Err, it's that guy. Okay, looking on the left side this time. There. No! Ah! That's enough, that's enough. Two, two is plenty. I might do a marath marathon of this sometime again of uh of just uh hundred percenting it. I think a hundred percent marathon would be pretty fun. I don't know if I could speed run it, like I'm already doing pretty good whoop. Well there we go. That bird is dead. I don't can't Pella can swim. I thought Pella can could swim. Uh, my roommates to shout out there. Having a good old time. Whoa. Come at me. Good guy. Yeah. There we go. Alright, and now all of these blocks out here are flipped. That I can make it over. Oh, there's probably a secret in that wall, huh? Yeah, whatever. Oh, Ice Wario. Ice Wario, he literally just scoots along that same wall every time. I want to stun him, but I don't want to kill him. Oops. Ooh, I hit the. I hit the. Tackle button on uh, instinct for some reason. That would have. No. What's going on there? There we go. Oops. Ice. And they're really throwing a lot of the, uh,. A lot of the different Wario types right here at the end, huh? That's the thing, I feel like they're all more prevalent for, uh, other parts of the game. That's, like, the big thing here. Like, I just zipped through the main story, but I'm sure there's, like, some side stuff. Ooh. Ah, oh, no, no. Every time with this guy. Nice try. Oh. I was hoping I'll run it. Didn't work out. Ooh. I can't flip the switch, though, because, like, then... Uh... Nope. If I flip the switch, then the door won't work. I guess I gotta. I can't... I can't get it. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Now we can get past. I'm guessing there's going to be another switch then? Oh, no. Okay, that's probably just a secret then. See, yeah, those holes. That there. If I was a small Wario, I could get through. Round pound to stun it. Mm. That's a good point. Uh, uh, I mean, I made it through, I guess. Mm, it worked? I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, wait, what am I doing? That's two. That could only be two, right? Yeah. I, w I wasted an extra 50 coins for no reason. Three more chapters. Or three more stories. Yeah. Defeat your ducks. Or defeat four ducks. I remember this one too. This is a fun one. You gotta find the ducks and defeat the ducks. there's a smarter way to do this. Right? I gotta use the mice. Follow me. Come down here. Come down here. Oh. Wait, no, I remember this one. You gotta, like, grab one mouse and throw him on there w and when you bounce off a different mouse. Something? Something like that. No, my mices! My mices! I can't grab him. That's not working. I'll come back to this one. Hold on. Oh, here's a zombie one. Ooh, or rather ghost. I'm fairly certain the ghosts turn you into zombies. Yep. Blech. He just collapses into himself. Love that. Oops. Excuse me, I, my, my lips squeaked for some reason. Weird. That's the thing, is when you're like constantly on mic, start to realize that your your mouth and like body just do weird sounds sometimes. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go through here. There's a duck. Get him. Kill him. That is one duck. Accounted for. No, my coins, at which I could not have in life. That's nah, not worth wa running all the way back up there. Okay. Um. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, it just started me in front of that door, so my brain was like, you came out of that door. That's not how it worked. Oh goodness, there goes the dog. Going crazy. Going ridiculous. Okay. Two, oh, they're numbered, I just realized. That's helpful. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta turn into the zombie. Whoops. Gotta turn into the zombie. Way over here, though. When you collapse, you just fall through. 
Yeah, there we go. Hmm. These blocks down here. I don't know what I could really do about that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh gosh, I still got two more levels after this. Do I want to power through? Do I want to take another break? I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll go for a little longer at least. Uh, before another break, I want to at least beat this duck level. Yeah, see, those are three. Okay, I just didn't notice that the first time. Hm. Ooh. Iced cube, eh? That doesn't seem very... Ah. Didn't you throw it up? Yeah, that's the thing. Hey, it, you know, thanks for tuning in, Soap Agent. Best of luck with your flight. Hope you, hope you have a good time back home. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you around. You have a good, uh, good holidays. go. Alright, now I just gotta deal with that fourth one. This is gonna be tricky. Okay. So how to do this? fourth one is just the most puzzling to me. I gotta, there's gotta be like some secret, right? Oh, you know what? Use one mouse to hop up there, for sure. Follow me no matter what, so like, beat him over. Hold on, hold on, I gotta respawn him. Yes, follow me. Follow me, friend. There it is. No, come back. Why so angry? Like he can't he literally doesn't even hurt me. He's just following me for the sake of following me. Ah, there it is. Let me get that cube. Got him. Got him! Nice! doing. I was having that issue earlier where it froze up. Feels pretty good. 
It'll warm right in the middle, which I'm pretty sure is where the processor is, so. Well, it just should be okay. I've streamed for far longer than this on much more intensive games. I'm gonna set up a virtual machine so I can play some Windows games on here, too. That's pretty neat. Excited. This could be so many of them. Okay, this could be nine or eight. This is nine. Two more. Two more levels. Then I, I will definitely take a break, and then I'll show you guys one of the secret routes that's pretty easy to get to. Find the hidden door. Oh man. You're hiding doors now. Alright. This guy. I don't trust that guy. Alright, first step in finding a hidden door is gonna be to, yeah, ground pound and such everywhere. Come on, come on, give me some. appreciating this. This ain't Mylon's secret castle, you know, where it's just like total ab inscrutable lunacy. Like just gibberish where it's like, yeah, you're just supposed to like blow a bubble at a random spot on the wall. And it's like, what? You expect me to try every spot on every wall? And the answer is yeah. Yeah, they do. Another game I want to do on here sometime is Sword of Vermilion. It's like a Genesis game that just went on the expansion pass. I love that game so much. I'm really, really not into like RPGs usually, but it's not it's not like turn based. It's, it's kind of it's like Mystery Dungeon. If you've ever played any of the Mystery Dungeon games, it's kind of like that. There's also another one that's like called like Dark Fortress or something. That's like a very early roguelike. I think even maybe a pre-rogue, roguelike. Oh, you son of a butternut squash. Okay. Come on now, come on now. Don't, don't fool around with me. Don't mess with my head. I am just doing my job here. I'll clock in. I say, don't, don't. You dare talk to me until I've had my coffee. Then I proceed not to drink coffee. And no one talks to me. And that's how you have a happy, happy time at the office. This has been Iggy Kids Life Hacks. Office Hacks. Office Life Hacks. Hacks in the life of your office. Yeah. Down? Yes, down. See, if you request no one speak to you until you've had your coffee, then they legally cannot. And if they try to, you can get HR involved. Just a little pro tip. This looks like a secret. Alright. Yeah. This is fine. It's just like mining. No crafting, though. Unfortunately, it wasn't that far ahead of its time. But uh, you insist. I'll take them. There we 
There it is. Last boss time. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? That might be out of sync. Oops. I know my audio and my video can be kind of off sync. It's it's the virtue of having poor encoding on my onboard graphics for my uh, MacBook. I gotta get a I gotta get me a gaming PC with a proper video card. That could be nine or three or five. Okay, that could be... That could be five. And in fact, it is. <coughs> there we go! Nice, nice! Alright, one more. Exactly one more. No others. That's it. It's half a picture. That's what you paid for. The final battle. Good stuff, good stuff. Whoa, watch out. I got him. Well, no thanks. I'll just go through here, I guess. Oh, here I go. Aw, oh, heck. Just go, just go. No thanks, bird. Shut up, bird. I don't know. Is that even from? It's from like an old JonTron video. Ugh. Never mind. Whoop. Ah, oh, flipping, flapping. I forgot to hit. Hold up. Stop. Stop. Whoops. No, bad timing. I need to do it though. I need this guy. I suppose I could go with any of these guys. Let's take this guy this time. Let's jump right by. Whoops. Ah, uh, no! Ah, oh, man, I made it. Dip dang daroo. Okay. Oh, there we go. And of course, you gotta have some extra points. Save those for later. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whoop! Oh, oh, dang. I do not want to be drunk. Guys, please. Alright, I'll show you guys just for fun. Yep, here he is. I think it's it's officially Dizzy Wario is what he's called. But he's drunk Mario. Or drunk Wario! Ah! I consistently you just hear the name Mario so much more when you're when you play games. My brain is just like auto-filling it, like, yeah. Mario, the guy you play as every time, always Mario. No. That's not the guy. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanna grab that guy. Maybe I can no, can't. Hmm. Got him. I got him. He's mine! Is that right? Whoop. 
Yeah, there we go. I got him. Get out of here. Man, those parts can be pretty tricky. Oh, there it is. Last boss. Let's grab some of these additional coins. Nope, I'm just gonna lose coins doing that. Last boss, everybody. Here it is. Pretty simple stuff. Aw, oh, man. You gotta be careful not to get hit by the fire. Is the real challenge of this one. The second you get hit by the fire, you're done. Aw, oh, dip. I messed that up. Hold on. Yeah, no, there's coins up there. I don't. It's the last boss. Who cares? I don't even care. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta go through this each time? Ding dang to man. Uh, Dunkaroos, dude. You can just walk right through there. Alright, gotta pay attention to that fire. Oops, for various reasons, clearly. Oh, oh no! I thought it was gonna loop around. Nope. It just back and forth. That's fine, that's fine. What's up here? Why coins, of course. Nice. Ooh, make a me small. Make a me small. Thank you. Silver coin. Yes, good. Man, finding out how much those are worth really puts into perspective how poorly I played this before, because I had to let those disappear all the time as a kid. All the spear guy surfing. And biz. Damn, whatever. That was fun. Let's uh move on. Gotta finish this up. It's the end of the road, guys. It's a tricky last boss. Specifically because of this dang fire. Whoops. Whoop. Don't let it touch you. scary because it's a one shot that fire and while yeah all you gotta do is run back through it's like the damage does not carry over you just gotta deal that's probably not good whoa ah no mm. oh that's that stinks okay okay In fact, let's, uh, hold on, I have file, hold on, I have a quick save option here, right? Quick save, e, right, trigger, quick load will be R3, something I'm definitely not going to push. Okay. 
So let's get in there. Click saved. <laughs> Just save us a little time, you know? It's only a few seconds, really, but... It adds up. Alright, let's quick save now that we've hit her there. Yes, I'm cheating. Shut up! Just let's play style, baby. Whoops! Immediately screwed it up. Woo! Ah, watch out. Jeez, oh, am I supposed to catch one of those? I don't remember if she goes back to the other phase. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to catch it. Oh, and then you're supposed to... Right. Whoops. Oof. That's tri- Oh. Oh, no! Ah, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, man. I accidentally hit the quick... Save instead of the quick load. I gotta start over. That's fine. It's okay, it's okay. I got pretty close there. Alright, quick save. Quick save. Okay. Fire! Got it. Oops, nope, only hit the side. Ah, dang it. Not quite high enough. Oh, no. Let's reload. Alright. Oh, nope. Right, right, right. I have to hit the actual fire going up. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, dang it. You gotta be facing it. Ah, ah, almost. There it is. Alright, quick save. There we go. Yes, got it. Nice. That's it. That's the game. At least, that's the main story. I, you know, I could go through and try and 100% it. I don't really have the time this time around, but I might do that as a different marathon another day. But don't go anywhere. We're going to watch the credits, but then I'm going to show y'all uh, one of the extra routes that's not super long. No, I believe it's only one chapter long, but it's really cool. All right, let's draw again. There it is. Yep. That could be eight or nine right now. Ooh, could be five or six now. That's five. Now saving. Oh yeah, tear it to the ground, Rowario. Just blow it up. There they go. Team Teacup blasting off again. Do it, do the thing. No, oh, they're actually gonna land. 
Oh geez, they're not just gonna pew as a star out in the distance. All right, that's it. Wario Land 2. Ah, I, I will show you guys the other bit in just a bit, but during these credits, I'm gonna go take a break. So don't go anywhere. I will be our back with a little more Wario Land 2 in just a minute. All right, all right. Hey, everybody, back in time just for the end of the credits. Nice. All right, yeah, we are going to do the one more secret route, but it will not take very long, honestly. Oh, of course it was Nintendo RD1. These guys were great. Jim Warnell. Kayomi McDonald. by Izushi Takehiro. Presented by Nintendo. Mm. There we go. The end. But I only cleared 50%. I only got 16% of the treasure. I got most of the picture panel. And there's all of the treasures. There's all the picture panel. And then we get to see the map. Look at this. It shows you which treasures you've gotten. It shows you where it diverges. All of that. That's so cool. It so much. So yeah, as you can see, there are one. There are one. 
two, three, four, five separate endings. I've only ever gotten uh, two. So the main one and the one I'm about to show you. Uh, I'm not sure how to go to it, though. Start. I think I just gotta reset the game. Restart. Yeah. Alright. Ah, yes, so we can continue. Starting from beginning of stage. Okay. So yeah, now you have a level select. We are gonna start at the very beginning, because you might notice there's a branch that goes right off there. So as I said at the beginning, you gotta wake up Wario, right? Uh, and you actually have to hit a button to wake up Wario, but you might be wondering, well, what happens if you don't wake him up? What if you just let him sleep? And similar to Far Cry 4, something does happen if you just wait. So, let's get into it. So I'm just going to put my controller down. Just let Wario sleep. Starts to have a nightmare. And there's the end of the level music. He's asleep. And that's just how he's gonna stay. At least for now. And that opens up this stage. So here's a new cutscene showing Wario getting kidnapped. That's right, they're stealing him away before his adventure can even begin. That's so cool. I love that. I love that so much. Like, obviously, as I said, like, it's been done since, but like, that's so fun. You just, it's, you just decide not to start the adventure, and they force you into a different adventure. Yeah, the castle has been taken over. So now we go into a twisted version of Wario Castle. Invade Wario Castle to the castle! They just threw him out in the friggin' cold. They threw him out into the woods outside of his house. And we're just like, eh, you'll be fine. That's so silly. They really thought he wouldn't just, like, immediately come back. Oh jeez, we got bees. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, the bees. Oh, jeez, the bees. Ironically, not the bees, bees. Nor the cat's meow. Slash pajamas. Whoops. Pretty sure there's no actual good use for drunk Wario, so... Not gonna waste my time with that. And we're not gonna take super long on this. Like I said, it's just one chapter, so... Probably take me like a half hour here? But not too long. I was like, I really stuck on the boss. The boss for this is pretty tough, if I remember correctly. Whoa, there we go. So this was all a side area, huh? Whoops! Just like a real hangover. 
I'll just drink some water. It'll be alright. Probably gonna be uncomfortable for a while, but that's just how it goes. Should've drank so much, you dummy. Drink some water. Okay, smoothie. Though I always hear the advice that's like, uh, go, go make yourself a smoothie. It's like, make myself a smoothie? If I have a hangover, I'm not gonna be blending. Sounds like a nightmare. I am going to go and buy a smoothie from someone else who can make it for me. I'll wear earplugs. Ah, oh, jeez. Calm down, boys. Calm down. Ray's got all this right outside his castle. Seems uh, like a bad, bad plan. Frank. To be quite blunt with you, seems like a stupid plan by an idiot man. Was that too harsh? I don't know. Whoa. Ah, a single spike trap. I did it! Alright, that's one down. Ooh, they're purple now. Subgame contents will change slightly. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this isn't really different. Um, that's eight or that's six. Let's. Oh, oh, what the heck? This is a tutorial. Yeah, that's how it's always been. What's up? Did I accidentally? I think I hit help. Oh, okay, so instead, you just go until you can figure it out. Okay, that could be... That's eight. Well, it might be two. I think it's eight. Yeah, it's eight. Oh, that's a lot more nerve-wracking. Rather than doing them one by one. All right. Oh yeah, I didn't get the treasure that time. Hmm. See, now this makes me think of Mario Land 2, right? The like horror, the like haunted house levels. I should play those games. I should play all of the Mario Land games at some point. Those are like perennial favorites of mine. I, lo I love them. Oops. Maybe I should. No. Well. Hmm. Something tells me this is the wrong way. Got him. Tricked him. I thought they were ghost coins, because they're like, they look kind of translucent. Nah, I can't get it. Whatever. Come on now.
All right. We're doing pretty good so far. This might just be a much longer level, though. As far as I can tell. Oh, jeez, I'm flaming. Oh, got, oh, don't want to miss that silver coin. Ooh, just barely made it through. Gotta hop the water. And make sure I'm on the right side when I... Ooh, when that happens. Perfect. Ooh. Nice, nice. I get the coin. Do be falling. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Come on now. Ooh, oh, ah, nice try, buddy. Got to get up pretty early in the morning to catch me with that. Try. I remember that one also taking me a million years as a kid. All right. Playing. Don't suck up all my coins too fast. Be nine or five. No, it's three. Got it. Nice. All right, three more. The giant spearman. I've already done previously, but we're doing it again more. Okay, this is gonna be one of those ones with a lot of branching pads. Or maybe not, who knows. I'll just stick with right for the most part. Hello, Jason Payne. James, how you doing? Lurking. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just showing off a secret route here. I did technically already beat the game. Uh, way faster than I expected to. I estimated like six hours and it took me like three, three and a half. But uh, yeah, we're we're just looking at some of the some of the secret route for fun. And uh, once I finish this, I'll be ending. But I appreciate your lurk. Always appreciate a lurk. Oh. Yeah, 
that's fine. I can get you back up. Right over here. And then left now, I suppose. I'm just trying to find the exit. Ah, there he is. His ass. Beat him up. Beat him up. Bully this guy. Bully him. Bully him. Bully the spear guy. He's so angry. Why are you so angry? Are your parents getting divorced? <laughs> That's really messed up. I shouldn't say that. A silver coin. My parents are long divorced. I, I don't. I think I have one friend whose parents aren't divorced. It's almost like marriage is a failing institution and just inherently a an unfeasible concept. All right. What is it? Is that? There. Oh, could be seven. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure it must be seven. Yeah! Yeah, the only one that has the top and a blank one. All right, two more levels. I haven't gotten the treasure in any of these. Go through the grand hall. Stop before you hit the spikes. Before you hit the spikes. Oh, I just hit them that time. Ah, the way the spikes just immediately mess you up. Just crush ya. Come on, get Gotta be gentle, gotta be gentle. Quite stressful, quite stressful. God, yeah, the fact you can jump a little higher by holding up, I just, I don't know. They never really mention that at any point because it's an older game. You know, they, they don't have many, like, direct tutorials. Um... But it's so, so useful. Whoa! Missed. Got it. Got it. Oh, I'm not trying to get any of the secrets right now, really. The route itself is enough secret for me. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Bam. Put y'all from the opposite end. Ah, oh, dang it. Frickin' dog man. Frickin' dog man. Fine, it's just coins. I don't even need them. I don't even need them, bro. You see me? I'm Wario. I'm friggin' loaded over here. These are all my coins anyways. This is my castle. What do you want? So rude to me. You're in my house right now, and you're being so rude to me, Wario. King of the cash. King of the cash. King of the cash. I have a chair. Uh, oh, Borat. 
Yeah, like there's all those classic quotes from Borat. Oh, dang, two in a row. Oh, that's sick. There's like a, what, one in 128? Um, soap agent said. So two of them right next to each other? That's great. Yeah, my favorite quote from Borat is when he goes um, to the exotic animal farm. He ends up getting the bear, right? But it just, it opens on a tortoise just eating some frozen vegetables, like a mixed vegetable medley. There's peas, there's carrots, all you know. Frozen vegetables, right? Um, and you just hear Borat off screen just like, what kind of dog is this? And the guys there are just like, it's uh, not a dog, it's a tortoise. Is this a cat in a hat? No, it's a tortoise in a shell. Uh, it's always tickled me. It's, it's, I, I love that because it's like, it's so funny to me, and it's totally clean, which in a movie like Borat, like, there are not very many clean jokes, but like, you could, you could say that one at church, and they'd be like, yes, yes, blessings to you and blessings to this Borat you speak of. It's good, it's good stuff. Those are just watching, uh, we watched Talladega Nights, which I haven't seen since, like, high school. On, um, like, Amazon, I don't remember where. It, it wasn't streaming for free, I'm pretty sure I had to rent it. Something. No, wait, no, it was. It was streaming for free on Amazon. Um, but, I mean, free, you gotta pay for the subscription or whatever. But, um, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen in that. It's granted. A lot of it is just like gay jokes, and it's like that's not cool, really. But it's, it feels like it's more poke and fun at the ignorance of the homophobic characters more than it is poking fun at Doof being gay. Granted, that doesn't hold a ton of water. I don't know. I can admit that like one of my favorite movies from Teenager Dumb. A time when I was very, very not uh, considerate of other people, you know, other groups. I can admit it's problematic. You know, it is certainly a very problematic film, but it's still, you know, th there's so many movies from that time and earlier. They're like super problematic, like all of them, man. Like. Yeah, it's not, it's not an excuse, I'm just pointing out. It's like, if you w wanna watch any movie that's more than like, like 10, no, even more than like five years old, honestly, like 2015, we were still doing some real homophobic, racist stuff in comedy, and it's, I'm not, I'm not defending it in any kind of way, it's pretty bad, but, I can, I can at least admit it to myself, and I feel like we should all admit to ourselves. It's like, yeah, we were, as a society, at least here in America, we were not cool. We were, we were doing some really bad stuff, making some really offensive jokes that just hurt people for no reason, man. Like, going back, it's like they're not even that funny. It's like, man, why... I don't know. I, I think my problem is when people try and claim, like, I've never, never done anything problematic. Yes, you have. Everyone has. Every single person has at some point. And anybody who says that, you can go, you know, five years back, five, six plus years back in their, their internet, whatever, Tumblr, Twitter, and I'm sure they said some messed up stuff. Because everybody did. I think, um... Uh, uh, Louis Kung, I think his name is. He makes some like sketches on YouTube. He's pretty funny, but uh, he has a bit about that where there's like, there's a, a bit in The Hangover where Bradley Cooper just full on says the F slur, super homophobic, just straight out, and they're like, that was hilarious. The Hangover was like one of the biggest comedies of its time. And, yeah, it's just like, now, it's horrifying to think 
of a movie that would do that. That sounds awful. But back then, like, we all laughed at it, and, at, like, The Hangover was huge. Almost everybody loved that movie. Um, and then, like, The Hangover 2? Oh my god, it gets so transphobic. Oh man, I, I think even The Hangover 1 was pretty transphobic too, if I remember right. I'm, I'm getting them confused. And then Todd Phillips is like, oh, people are too PC. It's like, no, we just recognize that those jokes were never that good, and they were always just, like, pointlessly hurtful. <laughs> like, we don't need that, guys. We don't need to hurt people. We don't need to say hurtful things. To make a make a goof. You know, you can you can be funny and be nice. And yeah, you can push the line sometimes. You know, you can say something where it's like, oh, should I have said that? It's like... Yeah, I'm sure I've done it. I'm pretty sure on this stream I've probably said some things where later, or even in the moment, I'll be like, ugh, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have said that. That seems a little, that seems a little wrong. But you know what? Being present to that stuff and just recognizing like, oh, I might have hurt somebody's feelings. That's just empathy. That's just being human, man. That's just recognizing it's like, you're not the only person on this planet. You're not the only person hearing you. There's b billions of people out there and it's, it's totally, you know, you, I mean, technically you can just not care. You can just be super mean. You can do super hurtful stuff, make really horrible jokes. And you, not only will no one really stop you, no one's gonna like, no one's gonna like, um, you might even get a career out of it. Like there are plenty of comedians now who sell to sold out arenas, making horrible racist stuff, or like Russell Peters. Remember Russell Peters? You know what his b bit was? He just made racist jokes, that was it. Like literally, he just made racist jokes about every group. And he got away with it because he wasn't white, he was Indian. And it's like, it's not cool. It's still not cool just because he couches in like, well, I'm not white. It's like, well, you're not a lot of the other races. Also, the stuff you're saying about Indian culture is also not great. So, I'm just saying. All I'm saying is that like, you're if you do that stuff, you're gonna get criticized, all right? And that's, that's what happens when you do edgy, transgressive, Art, people are gonna criticize it. People are gonna hate you, dude. Friggin' uh, NWA, man, they hit, like, they would literally be told by cops as they drove into town. It's like, you do not play that song. You do not play that song, or you will be immediately arrested, which is fully illegal. That's a total breach of their freedom of speech. And guess what? Yeah, they would get, like, tackled to the ground as soon as they walked off stage and arrested for singing a song because the cops didn't like it. That's the kind of thing you need to be able to commit to. If you want to do stuff that people aren't going to like, you need to commit to, like, consequences because there will be some. Like, you can't just ma do, like, transgressive, um, edgy art without there being some kind of backlash to it. It's just going to happen. All right? And like, if you want to do that, and if you're doing it for the right reasons, more power to you. I'm just saying, you gotta like, have the guts to do it. You gotta be able to commit. Because if you're just gonna go off and be like, cancel culture, people are criticizing me. You're a wimp. And you shouldn't be doing, like trying to do art like that. It takes bravery, it takes courage and strength. And anybody who's just gonna whine about how people don't like them doing that, they were never gonna make it doing that anyways. It's just how it goes. Like, just because the public consciousness... P -p people talk like they've never been... There's never been criticisms for this stuff. It's... It's all over Twitter now, sure, I guess. But, like, it was always in the papers. There'd be tons of, like, opinion columns. There'd be people in the radio stations being like, This is horrible. They should be taken off the airwaves. Oh, this and that. You know, that happened to Carlin, to Pryor, to Mooney. All of them. And you know what? They kept making the art that they believed in. Whether it was good or not, it doesn't matter. Really, because they believed in it and they had the courage to keep going for it. That's what you have to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, my controller died! No! Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it. 
It turned off at least. I don't know if it officially died. I can go grab a charging cable if I need to, but I'm literally on the last level. Ah, I shouldn't have gotten so stuck up in my, uh, my rant. Oh. No. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, please, please. Oh, I can't have it. Sure, oh, wait, actually. Hold on, I got a power brick. Hold on, I got it around here somewhere. Please, please stick with me. There it is. Hold on, let's charge this bad boy. Come on, please give it to me. Survive. Yes, yes, we got it, we got it. Oh, that was scary. Uh, oh, uh-oh. There we go, okay, I was like stuck in a crouch for some reason. Ah. <sighs> Man, stream marker that both of those moments. I feel like that's an important rant. I don't know. I don't know. If you disagree, good. That was literally the point of the rant. Like, if you disagree, good. People should disagree. People should have different ideas and different tastes, and they should, like, have different opinions on stuff. And if you have a problem with that, like, that's just... You're missing out, man. So there's a big wide world out there that you could be a part of, but if you just want to be in a place where you can just have the same ideas as everybody else, like, yeah, it's good to be like-minded in terms of, like, um, a similar compassion, maybe, but, like, different, different ideas. Okay, here we go. This boss is very hard, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this guy, oh. Well then, let's try that again. Yeah, I remember this being a very hard boss. Ooh. You gotta, you gotta watch out. Gotta charge up. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Set the save point in a very bad place. Okay. Alright, I think he's gonna charge up right here. Gotta get him. Just gotta wait for him to charge up. Right soon. Frick, 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 bad spot, bad spot. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah. See, it's actually harder when he's slower, because, like, while the fast one, you gotta react faster. Oof. Um. You gotta. With the slow one, like, it's harder to clear him because he's not also going fast. Back, let me. Uh. Uh. I messed up there. I hit the quick save when I should have just hit him. Oh. Oof. oh, okay, this isn't as hard as I remember. I remember there being like something where you have to hit her first. This is actually pretty easy. Oh, 
No. Alright. Come on. Come on, you big boy. Got him. Yes. Okay, so yeah, now. Whoop. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, see, you gotta throw it at her after you knock him out. Got her! Got her! There we go. Took back my castle. And I got the treasure. Nice. Alright, let's play. Alright, let's watch. That is seven, three, or two. That's three. Okay. Got it. Nice. That is about two thirds. And there we go. Second, second ending beat. Second of five. That's all I'm gonna do for today. But I will come back to this someday in the future. I do really love this game. I like the implication that th there, that was under the Wario symbol and then <laughs> there was another Wario symbol under that. All right, and he just... He has to go back to sleep. Have a good old snooze, Wario. Alright, and we've already seen the credits here. I don't believe they change at all. So, that'll do it for today. I want to thank you- whoops. I want to thank you all very much for choosing me as your streaming entertainment. I know you have a lot of options in streaming entertainment, so... Appreciate you picking me. Please take the time to follow and subscribe if you can. Use your Twitch Prime sub. Link your Amazon Prime account. You get a free sub every month. Use it on me. Appreciate it. Because I know you will. Check out my Discord server where I have quite a few people. You know, it's a little quiet, but if you want to hang out, post up any of your stuff. Plenty of places for self-promo in there and everything. And plenty of places for discussion. Come hang out. Um, please follow my Twitter, at IggyDKid. It's also down there. Follow... My YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, and Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is also on YouTube, and that's all of my past streams, all of them. So check that out. I think it's a it's a pretty solid, pretty solid set of streams. Um, yeah, that'll be pretty much everything. Hope to uh, hope to see y'all again on Tuesday. I'm gonna still stream over this next week, but Thursday will be my last stream for the week because I'll be off for about uh eight days, I think it is. I'm going to be visiting family, so no streams the next week after that. But I hope to see you all on Tuesday for the end of Jack 3. That should be the last stream for Jack 3. Pretty sure I'm really close to the end. Uh, but come check that out. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's see who we can raid over to. Let's see who who's accepting raids right now. Um, uh, da, da, da. Switch over to the... Uh, oh, come on. Come on. The, uh, that's the one. All right, and then I'll just do this so you guys can have some music while I work this out. All right, who's who's streaming right now? Doo, doo, doo. Ooh. Oh man, it's between Loco and the Skeleton and Evo. You know what? Loco and the Skeleton showed up for my stream. I'll raid over to them. That sounds about right. All right. Here we go. Let them know I sent you. Have a, a great old weekend, everybody. And uh, yeah, have a have a good time. Okay. Let me let me make sure I actually get this. Wait, why am I doing it on my phone? When I could just do it right here in OBS.Live. I keep forgetting it has this option.
Loco and the skeleton. All right, raiding over to them. Let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. I'll see you all on Tuesday, okay? Okay, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>